Today we are going to learn about the city and tower of Babel. This history comes from the Bible. The people who built the city and tower of Babel lived after the flood. After the flood, Noah's children had children, and their children had children, and so on. Because all these people were descended from Noah, they all spoke the same language. It came about as they journeyed east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they used brick for stone, and they used tar for mortar. They said, Come, let us build for ourselves a city, and a tower whose top will reach into heaven, and let us make for ourselves a name, otherwise we will be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. Noah's descendants were very proud. They decided to build a city and a name for themselves, and a tower with a top reaching into heaven. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. The Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they all have the same language, and this is what they began to do, and now nothing which they purpose to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the whole earth, and they stopped building the city. Therefore its name was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of the whole earth. Before the flood, God, who knows all of our hearts, saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. After the flood, God said something similar, and this is what it was. The intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. The people of Babel were no exception. Instead of loving, honoring, and obeying God, they wanted to do things their own way and to honor themselves. They had great plans for their city and their tower, but they were not in charge. God is in charge. God had a different plan, a good plan, and no purpose of his can be stopped. God made all the people of Babel speak different languages, and because they could no longer communicate with one another, they could no longer work together. And this was how the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the whole earth. Over time, the scattered groups of people and their different languages became the tribes, nations, and languages we know in our world today. On the outside, we look different from one another. We have different skin, hair, and eyes. We wear different clothes. And we speak different languages. But we all come from Noah's family. And on the inside, we all have the same problem as the people of Babel did. The desires of our hearts are evil from the time we are young. This is why we do not naturally love, honor, or obey God. Instead, we all naturally want to do things our own way for our own honor, just like the people of Babel. As God's word says, there is none righteous, not even one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become useless. There is none who does good. There is not even one. We are all sinners. We all disobey God. Because we are all sinners, we don't naturally understand how serious sin is. But sinning against God is very serious. In fact, the punishment for sin is death. And all who die in their sins will spend forever in a terrible place called hell. 
Because we all sin, we all deserve death and hell. But God is merciful. He made the way to forgive our sins and save us from hell. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus is God's Son. God sent Jesus to earth as a man. Jesus lived a sinless life. He gave his own life to die on a cross in exchange for the sinful lives of everyone who believes in him. After Jesus died on the cross, he was buried. And on the third day, God raised him from the dead. Because Jesus took the punishment for the sins of all who believe in him, God can forgive our sins and give us eternal life so that we can go to heaven to be with him forever when we die. The people of Babel wanted to reach heaven with a great tower, but they did not succeed. We cannot reach heaven by our own efforts either. Only God can save us from hell and give us eternal life with him. And he does this through faith in the Lord Jesus. One day God will judge the world through the Lord Jesus. For this reason, God is now declaring to men that all people everywhere should repent. This means to turn from our sinful ways and turn to him. He also commands us all to believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ. All who repent and trust in Jesus will be saved. All who do not will be condemned. God does not take pleasure in the death of sinners. In the Bible, God says, As I live, declares the Lord God, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that the wicked turn from his way and live. Have you come to understand that you are a sinner? Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Would you like God to forgive your sins? He has provided the way to forgive you. God the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Jesus is God the Son. Everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. He also promised, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will certainly not cast out. If you will turn from your sins and trust in Jesus, you will be saved.